Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. It's always appreciated. I thought today I would give you a tour of my garden, having given you various cameos over the past few weeks. So we're starting with the greenhouse. I always remember my dad when I'm in here, picking the tomatoes and taking them in for weighing. And he always used to say, funny, when you pick them, don't seem to be as many as when I do. I wonder why that was. So tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers and up aloft we have a fig which with a bit of luck might actually bear fruit this this summer. That would be appreciated. And just over here watching is the baby pigeon who has featured on an earlier vlog. Those adult feathers seem to be almost all through now. No doubt he will be winging his way into the wider world soon. Bye, I'll leave you in peace. So, loneliness. Well, it's not only those who are alone who feel lonely. Maybe people are in a poor relationship or they're a carer, which is a very demanding role to have and often lacking in support. Many use distractions such as working, studying, so that they hopefully will forget about their loneliness. I can use gardening and that is the planter that I planted up on a vlog a couple of weeks ago coming on very nicely and I'm already picking up those lettuce though sadly <laughs> whoops the lady remains armless oh that was one of my dad's jokes I'm afraid it will be sorted one of these days. So round we go. And I'm managing not to fall, so that's a plus. So, other distractions. Well, hobbies. And for lockdown, I got lots of hobby supplies in. And I still potter with them for some. It can be isolating, but it does downgrade the loneliness because you're achieving and hopefully being creative at the same time. Maybe you're a joiner. No, I don't mean that you work with wood. You can join a club, maybe a walking group or a Club. This works for those who are inherently social, sociable beings, but for whatever reason have become cut off. And those like me, who are more lonely in a, a crowd, in a larger group. Just an aside to say, this is my current working area. These plants and some that were still in the greenhouse will be featuring in the hanging baskets which will be assembled next week. And then I can actually get out and eat outside without being surrounded by the various plants. So for me the comfy cut-off point for number of people with whom I feel comfortable has gone down to five or six. People that I know and hopefully people that I trust. And I used not to be bothered about crowds but that's changed. Next you can bite the bullet and chat. <laughs> I do this with fellow walkers and if they've got a dog well that's a big help 
because I can ask, is it okay to stroke? What's his name? What's her name? Etc. Sadly, I don't think that Mishka would be a good stand-in, a substitute for a dog. My cat would not respond very well to being put on a collar and lead and taken out across the fields. So I have to rely on others. I was in the supermarket yesterday and had a short but lovely chat with an assistant and it made my day. I just hope that she appreciated how much her taking the time to talk and to help me meant. Back to the garden. That's a, a ladder of tomatoes. You might have guessed I like tomatoes. And round there, next to the wood store, more tomatoes and beans. Let's take you back round. Sorry about any wobbles. I am trying to keep things as smooth as I can as we scan the row of pots with peas, beans, courgettes, peppers, mange too, and yes, more tomatoes. Hey ho. And then we have acts of kindness. It's lovely if people give you as a subject. Oh, hi Mishka, are you watching? Watching to see what's going on. It's good if you feature in an act of kindness. I've got caught up on the wall. There we are. But don't wait. You take the initial step. In the past, I've put small potted plants with a note on the doorsteps. Maybe put up a notice about a small knit and natter or coffee session. Though I do accept there can be health and safety implications here. So maybe simply circulate amongst people known to you but who might not be in your circle of friends. If you go walking or do crafting, etc., ask others if they'd like to join you. But don't take rejection personally. We rarely know just how much paddling is going on under other people's water. And that fork, it moves around the lawn, not of its own volition. And it was bought as a reminder of my dad and how he used to love gardening. That helped me with my love of gardening and I always remember him saying, funny, when you pick the tomatoes, there are never as many as when I pick them. Hmm, wonder why not? <laughs> There's nothing like a freshly picked tomato, is there? So back to the, those people, those who are feeling lonely. You know, they don't always present as being quiet and isolated. They can actually be busy people. If it's a younger person that you're aware of being lonely, compare notes. Maybe find out more about social media from them. And if you're anything like me, there's a heck of a lot more that I don't know about it than I actually know. And tell them what it was like for you when you were a similar age to them. Good way to start a conversation. But remember, stay physically, mentally active. Both a part of feeling well, of feeling able to get on with things. So, talking of getting on with things, 
do I go back to that summer house and sit in there for a while? Or do I go to the hanging bench where I made a pot of tea as a reward for me having made this vlog? <laughs> the tea wins it. Take care and thank you for listening. Anybody fancies sharing a brew on the bench? <laughs> My bench, not a certain other bench. Let me know. Take care. Bye.